Hey guys, my name is Lori Howell. I'm a real estate agent and broker here in Hunt County, Texas. I work for All City Real Estate. And I wanted to come on here and teach you guys kind of the value behind picking your realtor. A lot of people will interview realtors if they don't already have someone that has been referred to them that they just know and trust. Um, so here's the types of things that you should be looking for if you're interviewing a realtor. Um, you should be looking for someone that for one fits your personality and that you can get along with for the next 30 to 90 days. That's going to be important that you guys buy because you're going to be kind of going through the trenches together. You're going to be working very closely together. So highly recommend that. Second of all, find someone that has um, a passion and a zeal for what they're doing. Um, I say that before I say experience because there's a lot of experienced agents out there that are really burnt out and don't particularly have the passion and zeal for real estate that they once did. And so you want to find someone that is excited to work for you, right? So, um, and typically if they're in real estate and they're moving and grooving, if they don't know the answer, because let's say for lack of experience, they will find the answer. It's exactly how it was when I first started out. And I'll never forget the Hackneys being my first clients and taking a risk on me because we, we just had a great start. We, we met and we hit it off right away, fell in love with their kids. And I was like, you know what? I'm brand new, but if I don't know the answer, I promise I'll find it. And um, I had a broker, I had a team of people that I could go to um, that had experience and had the knowledge. So I knew that I was going to be okay. Um, I guess thirdly, I would say, you know, experience does come into play. Uh, it is really important for your realtor to be the type of person that's doing this full time, that is able to take a call or respond to your email or text or emergency situation at any time during the day. Uh, not to say that I'm always free to pick up my phone, but I don't have another job. Uh, so it is my full-time job. I would say <laughs> I probably work a lot more than nine to five on my real estate. And so uh, find someone that is available and that has some experience at least in what they're doing because you're going to come across weird situations sometimes that uh, some experience is going to really come in handy. It could save you a lot of time. It could save you a lot of bad decisions. Uh, when you start running into offers that have contingencies or offers that are FHA or VA, uh, you're, you as the seller, you may have questions about, okay, what is that? How is that different than a conventional offer? And an experienced agent is going to be able to tell you the differences between the two. And then you guys can take a calculated risk together if you choose to. And so um, experience is, is always a great thing. I mean, who doesn't want someone that has a few deals under their belt? But also make sure that they do offer photography as part of their part of their listing package. It makes a huge difference when you're viewing photos online that have been taken from an iPhone when the um, when the buyer is looking on on Zillow or Realtor on MLS. If they're looking at blurry iPhone photos versus professional photos, it is going to make all the difference in the world. You have no idea. And I hear a lot of times when we go see a house, they're like, oh, you know, the pictures made it look a lot better. Well, there's a reason for that. <laughs> because people usually make a decision online before they even go see the house. So we want to evoke emotion out of those buyers online to at least get them in the door because we don't want to bamboozle anyone at all, but we want to really expose that house for the beauty that's there. Um, our photographers that we use are not allowed to manipulate any pictures. Um, that's just MLS rules. And so what you see is what you get. I can't help it if our photographers are just amazing at what they do. <laughs> but, you know, buyers, they buy online first. We're, we're kind of in that virtual world. And so uh, it's very important that we portray your, your property at, in the best light possible online from the get-go to get people in the door. Um, and another thing that I do is I take it one step further and I prepare as much documentation up front as I can to put on the MLS. 
it's probably a little bit annoying to a seller. Just like a loan officer is gonna gather docs in the beginning from a buyer, I do the same thing with my sellers. I gather a lot of information up front. That way we're not gathering it as we're going and we look like we're just kind of scrambling for stuff. We have our stuff you know, already on MLS for the buyer's agent to be able to present to the buyer as they're showing the home and it, it's clickable, it's emailable, like it's just, it's just a better way to present your property. And with properties going so fast, um, it's important. So I think it's really important that you choose your realtor wisely. And if you have a friend or a family member that is in real estate and you wanna honor them and use them, I would say go for it. That's how I got started. I had so many friends and family that supported me from the beginning. Um, I'll never forget the McCrees being uh, one of my first, uh, that it was that fall that I first got my license and it was, I closed with the Hackneys <clears throat> and then I closed with the McCrees and there's some close friends of ours. And they could have chosen another experienced realtor in the area. I'm sure they knew other realtors and they chose me and it just meant so much to me and it made me want to like perform. Like it made me want to be like, I want to get you guys like more than you want for your house. I want to make sure you get a good deal on the house that you're purchasing. Um, I'll never forget we were able to negotiate the zero turn into the deal and I still smile when I go over there and I see that zero turn. Um, I get excited about, you know, my, my clients being happy, especially when they're friends and family. Um, so I would just encourage you to uh, just think before you hire the first realtor you see advertised on Zillow and uh, support local for sure. Um, Hunt County agents, can bring you the same value, if not more, than the Rockwall agents. And you're probably gonna get better one-on-one -on -one customer service with a more local representative, if that makes sense. So um, I see a lot of people in Caddo and Greenville hiring Rockwall realtors to sell their homes because they think they're gonna bring Rockwall buyers. Well, those buyers are on the same MLS as we are, and we're all connected in the same MLS, <laughs> so it doesn't make any sense. Um, so I just wanted to kind of educate you guys on that. I'm not pushing my services on anyone. I just thought I would point a few things out that might help you um, when you're interviewing or choosing your realtor. So I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.